this adds the most fine detail you can possibly ever, 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 ever ask for. Now that we've added all the highlights in the tree trunks here and the upper part of the trunk, we're going to go ahead and start filling in some of these finer branches and twigs uh, to give it that more, that final detail appearance. Um, and to see how they interact with the sun as they get closer to the sun. Some of these finer ones are actually a dark orange as opposed to a stark black way up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that now and that will complete the painting. So uh, again, follow along and I hope you enjoy this so far. You see how it's starting to get the realism now? Even though they're flat branches. Yeah. Yeah, they're still they're still flat. I'm not gonna individually use one, but now and then here, it'll really mm -hmm. make that happen. This adds the most fine detail you can possibly ever, 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 ever ask for. When I'm painting sand, every little grain uh, of sand yeah. is in there. When I paint a road, a black surface, black top, and passing lines, every little gravel bit. Um, snowflakes, when they're painting a snow zoo with falling snow, so the idea is to get the paint as wet as possible and you swirl, 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 swirl and you dab off the bottom so it doesn't drip. So now and then, I use a tool, simple magnifying glass, uh, to do some of the finer details necessary. It's not because I have poor vision, but it does help to give me really good direction at a close range to show how branches connect to each other, or when I'm doing fine things like, uh, like hair, or a mane on a horse, or a lion. This helps a lot just to clarify where those fine lines connect. Uh, again, I don't have any vision problems, but if you do, uh, this is probably something that we, you would want to invest in. Just uh, maybe like a dollar ninety nine, just get you a magnifying glass, and it help you with those overcome those obstacles. So I have changed colors to using an orange rather than a dark mix up here, because I need this orange to be closer to the sun here to give it that extra glow. Even in the smallest details, you have to consider where the light's hitting and where the light is coming from.
now for the very final act of detail, I'm simply going to take this same liner brush that I've been using and I'm going to go for a lighter color and at random points hit small branches with a single highlight. That's going to give this flatness volume. And if I did that to the trunks, I must do it to the smaller twigs and branches as well. That will help to unify where these heavy logs are the same as the attention to detail in these smaller branches here. So you don't have to hit every one of them, just random places uh, around here, again, to give it volume. So that'll be the final thing I do before signing this. And again, I uh, hope you're enjoying this so far. Now that all the detail is completely on there, I'm going to call this a finished painting and I'm going to go ahead and do my signing on it right now. Um, this is always the fun part of doing the painting is because I never really want my signature to overpower the overall scene. So typically I like to use colors that would um, complement uh, the main color of this. So in this case, um, I'm going to mix an orange, which is going to be in this case a pumpkin orange because we have all through here and I'm going to be mixing that with a burnt umber so these two colors combined I'm just going to mix those up into what appears to be a muddy brown sometimes even ugly colors help to make a painting beautiful, even your signature. So what I have mixed here is an orangey brown. I'm gonna liquefy that and use that to sign my name. I always try to keep my signature 
Um, pretty standard for every painting and over the years I've developed into something that I feel pretty comfortable with using. So we're going to go with that one now. Back to my old magnifying glass. Now we're going to put the date that I completed it. Today is October 27th, 2018. There's your completed sunset from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed this video.